Hello and welcome back to this series where we learn how to use the great Gatsby library or framework, library framework, I don't know. There's so much confusion between these terms these days. But regardless of the technical classification, we can still use this great tool to create great websites. So let's do that. <laughs> So to recap what happened in the last video, we implemented the discuss plugin right here for submitting comments and we added these social media share buttons to share our posts externally. But what we want to do, no but, just what we want to do, I don't know why I said but. <laughs> what we want to do in this video, we want to uh, populate this tags page with our tags. So, so far we got tutorial, design, code. We want to bring all those tags here and list them and uh, so that they can be accessible for users to browse uh, our posts by tag. So let's do that. But before we do that, let's commit our changes. So git add dot and git commit dash m. And let's say um, added social media share buttons and uh, discuss plugin. Okay, so I want to delete this page, this tags page, because we need uh, we need to pass the all tags for this um, for this uh, component. Not this one, the one we're going to create now. And we can't fetch that using Gra GraphQL. And I'll show you why we can't do that in a second. But we can just, we can delete this and we can create a template for this page and use that to generate uh, a page. And let's call that tags page, tags dot dash page dot JS. In this page, we're going to bring as per usual React and where else? other than from React. Uh, let's do a const tags page and it's not going to take anything for now and let's export default tags page. Now this is going to take a um, page context uh, which we're going to pass from the Gatsby node which is going to which is going to contain uh, tags and um, information about tags, like tags names and, inform uh, and numbers of posts of each tag uh, and so on. Uh, let's start populating this page. So it's bringing the layout from components.layout uh, slash layout. And uh, what else do we need? The SEO, so let's bring that. Let's bring SEO from components as well slash SEO and um, I think that's it for now. Let's return a layout with a title, so page title, all tags, <laughs> excuse me, let's put an SEO tag here and the title will be all tags and we're gonna have keywords we haven't been putting keywords specific for uh, pages so I'm just gonna say tags um, topics uh, I don't know you can think of something more creative but I'm just gonna leave it uh, like that for now and actually, before we do anything here, we need to uh, process the logic from Gatsby node before so that it would make more sense for you guys. Okay, let's head there. So Gatsby node. And here, what we need to do, I'm going to explain this uh, process quickly. What we need to do is that we, we're going to need to iterate through all our posts and collect these tags. So code, code and design and design and tutorial and obviously in a real world scenario you're gonna have many many more posts and many uh, uh, more many more uh, tags so we need a process to automate that so what we're gonna do inside of here where we create our pages outside of after creating the post pages 
uh, and of course while well, still inside this uh, dot then block we need to get our pages so uh, our tags rather so let tags gonna do like an empty array and we need to populate that and actually for this uh, I'm gonna use lodash uh, it's got a couple of useful functions that we're gonna uh, need so let's install that npm install lodash dash dash save even though it's actually um, not needed anymore but it's just why not um, before it finishes installing I'm just gonna bring it in const I'm gonna bring it in as the underscore const lo uh, equals require lodash and here I know what function I'm gonna use which is the each and here we're going to loop through all our posts, which we already brought in here. And for each edge, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to add to, ta to the tags array, I'm going to add, so I'm going to do tags equals tags.concat, which uh, I believe stands for concatenate, edge dot um, node dot front matter dot tags. Now this is gonna get the tags from this post or this edge, which, is, which represents a post because there's a node inside it, and add all those tags to this existing tags array. Um, but actually, let's do one safety check. Let's do if, and I'll explain this in a moment. If lodash dot get edge, um, and then we do a string node dot front matter tags and then here we add our tags now what this get method does is that from this it gets this element inside of node the front matter dot tags so it gets the value of that and using it as a uh, as a condition obviously this means if, if it's defined then do this so if we don't have tags we're not going to do anything um, so uh, so yeah now we have all our tags here so let's carry on. Uh, we need to also pass a, a count of tags. So let me give you an example. I want to have, I want to have the tags like this. So I want to have the tags like this. Um, so let's say design, code, etc. Okay, comma, etc. And I also want to have a an object literal where it has something like this. So design. Five, code, six, etc. Because I want to show as well uh, how many posts each tag has. So let's do that. So let's do. I'm gonna declare this object called tag post counts, and it's gonna be an empty object. And I'm gonna loop through my uh, tags. Tags dot for each. And here for each tag, I'm gonna do the following. So I'm gonna do tag, um, what did I call it? Tag post counts. And then do this tag, which will create here an entry, um, a property that's got the name, same name as the tag. And it will be equal to uh, I'm gonna do a conditional here. So, uh, tag, tag post counts, tag, or no, not, no, not double exclamation mark, double wall or whatever this thing is, or, or zero plus one. Now, what this means is that the problem is here, I could, for example, if I iterated through and I found design, I can't just do, um, tags post count uh, tag which is going to be design plus one because this will be undefined and in JavaScript if we do undefined plus a number it's not going to return that number it's going to return uh, if you've seen this before it's going to be uh, something that that's n a n which is not a number which which is going to create a problem because we need a number so if we don't have that we're going to have a zero and if we have that value we're going to use that value and add one to it and here in our array, we have, uh, we have all our tags, but we could have, for example, code, code, design, 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 tutorial, 
uh, and so on and so forth. So each time we meet this one tag, we're going to increment uh, one time. So that, that's going to return to us the count of each tag. And then now, after that's done, so this has become like this, and this has already become like this, but not exactly like this because we have repeating values, we have duplicate entries. What we need to do is remove those duplicate entries. And we're going to use this really useful um, low dash uh, method. Uh, and we do low dash, which is the, uh, represented by the underscore dot unique, but like this, not spelled fully. I don't know why. <laughs> um, tags. And this will just basically eliminate all duplicate entries and make it like this. Um, so the values will be unique within that array. Now we can create our pages. So create page. So the usual takes a path and this path will be, um, so we're creating the all, all page, all thing, all, uh, all tags page. So it's just going to be slash tags and the component, which we haven't brought in yet. Um, let's bring that in. So inside of our, uh, where is template? Let's bring in that template, but actually let me change something here. Um, I want to do something that's a better practice than this. Let's do const templates. So let's bring in all templates as one object. And inside of that object, we're going to have single post as this, and we're going to remove that. And then we're going to add tags page. So uh, tags page, and we're going to bring us, let me paste that and change the name of this to um, tags page. So we bring this that we just created. And then let's, let's actually go where we create our normal um, blog post pages and change that to templates templates dot um, single post single post and then here let's give templates dot um, tags page and then here we need to pass a context um, a context uh, object which will hold our tags and our tag post uh, counts and now we get, so we're going to use these inside of the, our component to display the information about tags and the number of posts they hold. So we're done here. Actually, let's put some, um, let's put some comments because, um, it's always better to have comments. So let's do here. I'll get all tags and here, let's say create tags page. And I think that's fine. Let's do here create single blog post pages. Okay, let's save that and let's go to tags page. And here let's, um, let's do a UL here. So a UL, no class. And inside of that we're gonna have, we're gonna loop through uh, tags. And let's extract that actually first. So let's destructure uh, tags and tag, uh, tag post counts which we passed in our uh, page context so page uh, context and now let's loop through this tags this tags array so tags dot map yeah map tag and for each tag we're gonna oops arrow we're gonna return so parentheses not curly braces and ally an ally with a key uh, of uh, this tag itself because they're unique within this ally and let's do an inline styling now inline styling is like uh, it's something that you shouldn't do but uh, but I'm just gonna do it for now I mean it's not like it's uh, an international crime but it's just frowned upon but I'm just gonna do it I don't care <laughs> Okay, so inside of here, we're going to have a button. So let's bring, actually, we're going to have, actually, we need uh, to bring in two things from React Strap. So button and badge. Because uh, alphabetical order. Because why not? 
from React strap. And um, we need to bring in Slugify. So import, oops, import Slugify from, uh, go back one level to util slash utility methods, I mean, uh, utility functions. And here we need the button. So um, button, which takes a color, let's give it a color of primary, which is the blue in bootstrap and in href of uh, so backticks template uh, literal template literal string slash tag slash dollar sign curly braces to put a variable slugify and we slugify our tag we've done this before we're used to this now so let's close that and inside the button we're gonna have the the button text will be the text of the tag and then a space, and then we're going to have a badge here, which will have the number of posts that we have, uh, which will take color of light, so it will stand out as white. And inside of that, we're going to do tag post counts, and we're going to do this array accessor um, syntax of accessing an object property, which you should never do in JavaScript. But this is one of the very few scenarios where this syntax is actually uh, valid because at this point we don't have access to that property so that we will use this syntax so in runtime it will have an actual value. Um, so let's save that and let's run Gatsby develop. And this should run without any errors and we should see our uh, tags, something's running, oh, because I'm running on a different terminal, let's close this one, and let's go to localhost 8000, let's go to our tags page, and it's broken, and that's because, oh, because we edited the Gatsby node, we need to stop our server and run it again, Gatsby develop, and now it's going to build out the uh, slag, slag, slash, <laughs> slash uh, tags page. What's the problem here? Problem on creating a page because we passed something. Uh, the component is undefined, so there's something wrong with uh, this templates thing. Component templates dot tag tags page. What's wrong with that? So tags page. Tags pages path resolve source te templates tags dash page dot js. And why is that a problem? Oh, s oh wait. Oh, actually, this is the problem. A single post. Actually, that wasn't the other. It was the single post that was the problem, not the tags page. So, it should be fine now. as I have a sip of my coffee. And you should finish building any moment now, and it does. And if we go there, this time we should see, oops, we don't. Wow. Okay. We don't see anything. And we don't have any errors. Because... <laughs> Let me see why. Tags. Component templates the tags page and we pass tags and let's console log some things. So let's con console dot log um let's console dot log tags and as well console dot log um tag post counts and uh, let's stop and start again. And this is a node file, so we should log it here instead of in the... Oh, they're empty. And why is that? Oh, it's because we need to fetch the tags um, here. So in uh, when we do our GraphQL, we need to fetch the tags, otherwise they're empty. Because we didn't ask for that. We didn't ask for that, uh, for that field. So, should be fine now. It should be. <laughs> And there we go, we got our tags, we got our accounts. 
These are errors that are related to the WebSocket because we stopped the server. So let's not worry about that. If we reload this and there we go, we get our tags, get code two, which takes us to code. Of course, we need to build this page itself. And that's what we're going to do in next video. And let's rename this from app tags to all tags because I made a boo boo. So here, all tags and oops here it does change so yeah we now have this page and obviously if we had more tags it will be uh, we'll have more of these and it will look better obviously it looks very empty but you you get the functionality and you get the how useful this thing is to users so um, um, in the next episode like we said we're gonna be creating this page so slash tag slash whatever the tag is so I'll see you in the next one bye